Diablo 4 just got data mined and there's already some hidden items found. And there's a major warning there on what you should be keeping and not getting rid of. We also gotta talk about some incredibly rare items that might or might not be in the game. We gotta talk about some recent changes with some dungeons and some bosses. And a couple dev changes including items that are currently getting disabled. What's up world Strip here back in the video. Today we're checking out all things Diablo 4. Okay so first of all let's just jump into the data mine stuff and what has been getting kind of leaked recently and certain items that you're probably throwing away that you shouldn't be. Okay so some imagery for the gemstones actually did get leaked and the problem with this is that they're showing that there's actually higher gemstones than just the regular ones. So as we know there's several layers of gemstones there's the cut gemstones and there's the flawless gem and then there's the regular gem like the ruby however it looks like we're gonna have another tier even after the regular name gem so i would keep every single gemstone and start looting them because you're probably gonna need a lot to upgrade so then you could upgrade your gemstones from the chipped then to flawless and then to the actual gem which after that point looks like there's gonna be another gem tier so i would keep those highest tiers so that way you can upgrade into the next tier when that does get dropped now we do have some changes with both the dungeons and item systems right now and currently we do have an aspect that actually did get disabled so adam fletcher tweeted out here saying the team has temporarily disabled the edge aspect in game items can still be used with the affix but will not proc until we re-enable it we will update players once we do so if you are using the edge masters aspect right now i'd maybe imprint something else off of it and put something else on now we did also have a new client patch yesterday but it seems like we keep getting a ton of builds we had one on the second we had two on the fifth one on the fourth and two on the eighth there was a couple of checkpoint errors that they just fixed recently and there was also some various stability and bug fixes however i will say for pc i don't know about you guys but i usually don't crash for games not quite often although fairly recently with a lot of the, the new triple a titles i have been kind of crashing i think on maybe hogwarts legacy i did a few times however that was after the stability patches and i don't think i crashed after that point however with diablo 4 my game has been crashing constantly my cpu temps are actually pretty high for some reason as well as my gpu temps has been really high on this game i might lower some settings but yeah I ha i've crashed quite often on this game that i'm surprised is happening wondering what's happening to you guys as i said typically i'm the one that doesn't crash in my group of friends or when I'm playing with people or when people are in chat talking about crashes I'm usually the one that never has a crash on my system or at least it's seemingly been that way but with this game I'm crashing all the time although I've seen other streamers crash so I think it's happening quite frequently now if you've noticed we did have some world boss changes and there was actually a few changes with the world bosses in several of the zones including hell tides which now some bosses will spawn at level 90 and if you're in a hell tide they'll spawn at level 92 which actually does make it a little bit more challenging it's more so that the mechanics will kind of want, at least if you don't have or building for health and you aren't taking like a full barrier up tank druid it will kind of do a one shot to you if you do mess up a mechanic which is nice to see because it, earlier it seemed like you could kind of make a ton of mistakes especially even in world tier 4 it felt like the world tier 4 world bosses were a lot easier than even some of the event bosses in hell tides so yeah i'm glad they did a few bit of balancing there with some of the elite levels as well as the boss levels too we also got to talk about that rare item because a lot of people have been questioning if these items are actually in the game so someone here asked could you tell us whether the harley quinn chest and the grandfather are in the game yet also i do believe there's one called the shaco it's been a week and i haven't seen a single drop of these for anyone and adam fletcher responded here saying they actually are and the rumor is that you need to be either a level 100 or near level 100 in order for these to drop and on tier 4 some people think it might just be a lilith drop however i think we do have a drop that was just seemingly in the open world and we do actually have an, a korean screenshot here from somebody in korea that showcases that they do actually have it so it's either incredibly rare to get one of these three items or more or seemingly you have to meet the requirements of level 100 which would kind of make sense as not a lot of people are level 100 right now and most people are kind of still leveling granted this guy did get it at level 98 seemingly so maybe it is just being close to level 100 or in the 90s but it is pretty odd if only one person from a completely different country is the only person to get it and nobody has any other version or anybody showcased anything it's kind of insane to think how rare that is that not a single person can post a different image of them actually looting this item now there was an ama with Riker on the subreddit most of the questions are about his career and things like that which is kind of cool but i don't think i should cover that because it's just kind of this guy's thing and he's probably going to cover it in a future video but i am going to cover a few of the questions that do revolve around the game itself so someone asked here how confident are you that blizzard would provide us with enough seasonal content to keep players engaged Riker responded here that diablo 3 was never meant to be a live service game with substantial updates traditional AAA games tend to have a team that's scaled down in size release at the talent is moved onto other project or projects leaving only a small team to see the game through release 
D4, however, has been envisioned as a live service game from the start. Not only that, are they not scaling down the team, but all indicators are that they are continuing to scale up. If you paid attention to jobs postings, I think Blizzard is building an army worthy of Mordor to keep producing Diablo 4 season new content. He did add here that, will that content be enough to keep players engaged? Depends on the player. If you play 20 hours a day, then I imagine you'll burn out that content rather quickly. For the average player, it should be enough, but the first season will be pretty telling. I will say there's a lot of quality of life features missing from Diablo 4 that I do hope that they are working on sometime soon and not pushing to season one or even later. I also think there's no reason why leaderboards are not being implemented before season one or even in season one. Apparently they're not coming till season three. Doesn't really make a lot of sense there, but there is so many quality of life features like a global chat, things like the gem tab stuff, or even being able to search your inventory properly and look for different aspects. I don't know about you guys, but I have like one of each legendary. So when I have to replace one of my legendaries, I have to re-go through every single item in my inventory to kind of see exactly which aspect that is from the previous mod that I want to replace on on this gear slot so yeah i hope they add like a search function or at least kind of like a sort function with that because it's getting kind of quite ridiculous having to sort through the storage at a certain point i'm just going to start getting rid of like almost every single legendary just so that way i don't have to search through a hundred different items every single time we do actually have a resource material guide here in case you needed help trying to find and discover things or at least where the materials will drop however you can hover over the materials and it will tell you where they drop but someone on the subreddit named that jumpy jumps actually did create a guide for materials that discloses basically all of them and where they drop so i'll showcase that here and i'll also leave a link below in the description so you can kind of check that out if you kind of want to have that on the side i know for me i have the hell tide maps up always for the mystery chest and i also always have the event map up as well that way i'm constantly finding the events and yeah hell tides are really really good to farm right now especially for the mats and materials that you get from them also to note that Kriparian had a pretty good video on resist are basically useless and yeah i was watching his stream and he did a lot of testing and resist you shouldn't be taking any resistance stuff at least not at the moment as they don't really add anything in fact i think he stacked like several hundred percent of resist or had like over a hundred percent of resist and it was only three percent total or it was just like an incredibly small amount but yeah with that damage stuff the damage buckets and the multiplicative and the versus additive it didn't add much to the resistance overall and it ended up breaking down to about three percent and i believe this was after he took basically every single node in the paragon board that he could for resistance so yeah watch out for that when you're doing your builds and if you do want an ice build or a sorcerer build that you are maybe struggling with or just kind of want to try something new i did make several guides but my recent one is pretty good and has it pretty full, fully fletched with the gearing and the paragon so i'll leave a link to that down below and you can check that out as well but that should about cover for today's video if you like a like like and subscribe to the next one deuces